friends. Okay, let's wait for this to pop up so I can share it. And I'll go ahead and post my shopping link right there in the comments. So everything you're about to see, you can shop right there. And then I'm gonna share this to my beauty group, which is called Beauty by Ray Hope. So if you're not in that yet, make sure that you request to join. And then we'll get started. So when you pop on, go ahead and click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner as well. Always helps me out. Okay. There we go. All right, hello, hi guys. I know it's been a hot minute since I've popped on, so I wanted to at least come and show my, my pretty face. Um, and show you guys some super fast coverage. As you know, and if you don't know, where have you been? Our foundation is on sale, like major, major sale. The biggest sale we've had all year long is happening right now. It's in this month's kudos. And how to find the kudos is you're just gonna go to my website, pinned in the comments, which I think it's pinned in the comments, and I don't think I did. So here, let me do that really fast. It's super duper easy to remember. RayaHopeBeauty.com is the name of my website, which you can find all of the makeup and the skincare. If you haven't been color matched by me yet, or if you need a full makeup skincare recommendation, just shoot me a message and I can give you a full recommendation for you. Um, but we're not gonna do anything too fancy today. I just felt like doing my makeup. And so I was gonna do it with you guys to show you guys amazing coverage. I'm having like the breakout of a century right now. I've been eating so unhealthy. And as you know, we all just got back from Nashville. So hence why my voice sounds like a little bit lost. And we clearly drank way too much alcohol. So my skin is like, this is what you get. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to cover everything, whatever you got going on. So normally when I go live, I've already done my pre-makeup routine. I did not do that this time. It's actually the first time in four years that maybe less than four years. I can't remember the last time I've done my pre-makeup routine live with you guys, so I thought I would do it because um, we're just going to be doing super fast coverage anyway. So I'm going to show you what I do before I do my makeup every single time. I'm going to take my Touch Bold setting spray, I shake it up, and then I douse myself with this. Just like that. And then I usually let it just like air dry but I'm gonna try to speed it up using this fan, so hopefully it helps and we're not just sitting here watching paint dry. Um, this is kind of why I avoid doing it live, just because who wants to watch paint dry, right? <laughs> or primer dry. But now you can kind of get an idea of how I prevent my makeup from moving around, how I prevent creasing, how I prevent any of my natural oils from moving around. Um, and these little fans, you can find them on Amazon. They're amazing, especially from letting your makeup dry super fast. Nice, awesome, yes, always watch on the replay if you need to. So after my setting spray is dried, then I take my Glorious Face Primer. This lasts forever, you guys, forever. And with the foundation, or I'm sorry, with the primer, you get two choices. You get um, the Glorious Face Primer, which is really good for normal to oily skin, and then you have the Hydrating Face Primer, which is good for dry skin and mature skin. So you get two options, both of which are a part of the kudos. So I'm gonna take that, and then this is how much I use. I start off with about that much on there, and then I just take it, and my hands are clean. I always wash my hands before I do this. So I do those four little quadrants, and then I go in with a little bit more. So now a little bit like that, and then I'll just dot it around my cheeks, push together my fingers, and then I start to massage it in all over. I do my lips, I do my nose, I really, really do my under eyes, I do my eyes, my eyebrows, my forehead. And now as you see, I'm kind of making sure that every part of my face is covered in this primer, and then I'll kind of go around and feel, and if I feel like I need a little tiny bit more, I may do it, but then you're gonna wanna push. You're gonna to wanna to push that primer into place. That's going to push the primer into place. There's no other way to describe it, I guess. But so what this is doing is it's um, capping all your creasing, it's filling in your pores, it's protecting your skin. Um, it's gonna prevent breakouts unless you've been eating like crap like I have. Um, but it's really, really great and it's especially really good for making the, the coverage of your foundation appear more full coverage. I always compare it to a wall, like when you're painting. What do you do to that wall before you paint it? You prime it. And why do we prime a wall before we put paint on it? To make the paint 
stand out more and so the paint doesn't fall into every crease and crevice. There is, and that's the same that goes with the primer. So it's a crime not to prime, take the time to prime. I could think of all the little catchy lingos to make you do it, um, but just remember to prime. So again, like I said, you get two options, the normal or the hydrating, both of which come in the kudos if you're new. Hello, welcome. Make sure you hashtag newbie in the comments so I can welcome you. And yeah, message me if you guys need any help or edit recommendations. If you guys have any questions, you can always message me. There are so many comments that fly that I don't get a chance to answer. So if I didn't answer your question, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. I really, really, truly do want you to message me and ask me. Another thing to make sure that you are doing is that you're following me over on Instagram. My name on there is Rhea Hope. So make sure you follow me over there. I'm doing a really fun giveaway right now for like a $500 PayPal giveaway. It's really easy and fun, might as well. So definitely make sure you check me out on Instagram. I'm kind of stalling right now, if you couldn't tell, because I'm letting my primer saturate into my skin. Um, so normally, if I wasn't live, I would be setting up my makeup, I'd be doing my hair, I'd be getting ready. Today is one of those leggings days. <laughs> We're like scrubbing it today, it's all good. So now that I've given a few minutes for my primer to really saturate into my skin, now I'm gonna take my setting spray, shake it up again, And I'm gonna douse my face in this again. So we'll use my handy dandy fan, dry it off really fast. And the reason that I do that is because I have naturally oily skin. And if I don't set my face with something that's mattifying, I feel like I get really oily quickly. It doesn't matter what primer I'm using. If it's not mattifying, I get kind of oily. So what I love about the Touch Bold Setting Spray is it does have a mattifying effect. It's not drying, it's not pulling, it simply just sets it. This is actually meant for setting your makeup, not really your face, but if it can set your makeup really well, why can't it set your skin really well? So if you're balling on a budget, you could actually use this for in place of primer. It's not gonna work as well as the primer would, but it gives you another option if you were trying to, like I said, ball on a budget. Um, but there's actually no need for that because you get both of these and the kudos, they're included. So you get the primer, you get the setting spray, you get your choice of foundation, whichever foundation you want, the BB cream, the stick foundation, the spray foundation, the liquid foundation, the BB cream, doesn't matter, you can pick it. The pressed powder, for example. So you get the foundation, the primer, the setting spray, and then you also get the concealer. So you get these four things for $99. So you're saving 50 bucks by buying it this way. 50 doll hairs by buying it in the kudos. Um, Jenny, the brand is called Unique. It's all available right here on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And if you're like, I've never seen your brand, I've never used your brand, how in the world am I supposed to know what color to use? Message me. Just send me a selfie facing window. I've been using this makeup for almost, for almost four years. I know how it oxidizes. I know exactly the color that you're gonna need. So just message me and I would be so thrilled to help you. Um, do you get it in the starter kit? No, the presenter's kit is mostly eyes, lips, and skincare. Um, if you want the foundation on sale, grab it in the kudos. It's the best and cheapest way to get it. Okay, so today I'm gonna use the spray foundation because it's fast, it's full coverage, it's so lightweight on your skin, and it's really great for all skin types. Oily, normal, dry, mature, you name it. It is so good. So make sure that you definitely grab this guy right here. This is the Kabuki brush by Unique. I think it's un, it's at like towards the bottom when you get to the tools, but make sure you grab it because this is the best way to apply it. So as you saw, I shook it up. It is like an aerosol can. So it's kind of cooling, which feels nice. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take that on the Kabuki brush. You're just gonna spritz, spritz, spritz. And then you're just gonna dot it around your face. And then you're just gonna apply it just like this. I'm using the shade Taffeta, which is my like tan color. We uh, were in Mexico like two weeks ago and I got kind of a pretty good tan, but um, after my tan fades, I'll move back down to the shade um, Lace. And again, if you're not sure what color to grab, just message me and I can tell you. So we're just gonna apply this all over just like that. I'm sorry the lighting's not very good here. It's like five o'clock, so I don't really have any natural Good light right now. I'm new. Hi, Denise. Welcome. Yay. Hi, Susan. How do you clean your brushes? I use this laundry detergent bar called Zote, Z O T E. You can get it at Walmart. It's like a dollar. And now I'm going in with just two little spritz, spritz. 
And I use it as like a washboard. And so that's how I wash my makeup brushes. And I wash them about once a week. I try to wash them one to two times a week, but once a week seems to pr pretty much be my norm. Always bring it down the neck. Always, always. Um, I got my spray foundation baby brush yesterday. See, so first time I looked so good. Oh, I love that. I love hearing your guys' love for the makeup. It's so fun. All right, so I'm purposely only doing one side of my face because I really want to show you how incredible this coverage is. See those angry red blemishes? Sayonara, see you later. So good. Completely reduces redness, completely reduces all that uneven skin tone. It's so incredible. So again, we're gonna do it on the other side. And I just love how fast this is. Like good, fast, even, full coverage. And it doesn't feel like anything, nothing. It doesn't feel like anything at all. It's light as a feather. And what's really cool too, is that when this dries, it will dry into like almost a powder looking finish, but it doesn't dry into a powder finish, it dries. Um, so incredibly well that it almost is smudge proof, which is really cool. Yay, thank you so much for sharing. I do encourage you guys, if you do feel like you've learned something from me today, please click that share button so maybe someone you know will help. This will help them if you know someone with oily skin or that's been looking for some good coverage. Blah, 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 blah. Share and message me if you need to come match. All right, so now that we've fully done, I'm in California opening my kudos right now. Yay, I'm so excited for you, Katie. Oh, I know, isn't this spray so good? Let's see pictures. Yes, we love Nashville, it's so much fun. I have not used concealer yet, no. I've just used my primer, my setting spray, and now my foundation. So now that I have my foundation on, that's all I'm gonna use today, just a really nice, light, fast coverage. And now we're gonna use our concealer. So I'm gonna use the shade Lace in my Skin Perfecting Concealer. I'm gonna use about that much. You're always gonna want to like massage it between your fingers like this to warm up the consistency and kind of helps to apply it evenly and like a little bit easier. So we're just gonna dot this around our under eye and this is gonna give us that really full coverage. I'm also gonna put this like on those angry blemishes. Just whatever is round, just all, wherever. Would you use the same color as your Liquid Touch? Um, yes most likely but message me so i can like confirm um if you're not sure what color to grab just send me a message and i can let you know all right so now we're going to take the blending buds these are by unique these are damp i rang them underneath the water before i got on here and we're just going to bounce this off our skin like this and this is really going to not only set like our concealer into place but it's also going to bump up the coverage because it's gonna be minimizing the appearance of pores and really placing the concealer and the foundation into place. Normally I'd use the larger one, but I got this in my hand, who cares? <laughs> so we're just going to bounce this all over and you guys see this coverage. This is not amazing. So incredible. Oh, I love it. All right, so I do have oily skin, so I'm gonna set my makeup really well. So nothing moves around, nothing looks too shiny, nothing looks too oily. So if you have oily skin, let me know, say me too, I have oily skin. And if you need a recommendation, like I keep telling you, message me, send me a, send me a selfie facing window and I can give you a recommendation. So fast. Would you use the same color? Oh, I already answered that one. <laughs> How's Ryan's chin? You wanna know how your chin is? Is your chin good? Yeah. yeah. I don't think you'd stay be able to see it. Yeah, it's, it's still um, glued right here. Yeah. And you can't really see it because my beard, so I'm not gonna shave for a while because there's glue all over right there but yeah he cut it riding the mechanical bull in nashville <laughs> true life i'll have to send you a selfie yes kristen send me a selfie or if you have a recent photo that looks like it's in natural lighting i can color match off that too going i'm using the spray and the skin or i'm sorry in the concealer right now hello oh thank you stephanie do you all have lifetime customers? Absolutely. There's so many women that I know that only use this brand. I only use this brand usually, mostly. I think there's like maybe two things that I don't use that are unique. Yes, mechanical bowl. <laughs> It'll get you every time. <laughs> Bulls are safer. I know, we should just stick to Red Bulls. All right, so now I'm gonna take a beauty blender. This is from Walmart. There's nothing on it, it's dry. I did just spritz it with my Touch Bowl setting spray. And now I'm gonna take my Touch Bowl translucent setting powder. So this is no color, it's just translucent. 
and I popped the cap off mine so I could bake with it. It usually comes with this little mesh plating, which is great if you don't have oily skin, you'll love that plate. Helps you not use too much product. But I'm just gonna take this and just tap it into my translucent setting powder to get all that on there. Before I do, I always make sure that I don't have any lines forming or creasing happening because once we set it, it's that's all she wrote. So now we're going to pop this on all over. And what this does is it draws out the natural oils of our skin and traps them. So instead of the natural oils pushing against our foundation or our concealer and making us look oily or greasy or just making our makeup come off altogether. Do you guys ever, does that ever happen to anyone? Like you put it on and then like an hour later, it looks like you don't have any makeup on. You're like, cool. I'm glad I just spent 20 minutes doing my makeup. <laughs> Yeah, you're excited to get your kudos. I'm so excited. Hi, Angela. Yes, I see your comment. I'm sorry. I'm like so bad at reading them today. Uh, what would you recommend for dry skin? Dry skin, I would do either the BB Flawless or the Stick Foundation, depending on what kind of coverage you like. The Stick Foundation is more full coverage. The BB Flea, BB Flea, Lease. <laughs> BB Flawless is more um, medium to light coverage. So again, just send me a message. Hello, I'm done. <laughs> Going to message, yes, Megan, message me for a color match. So I tried your pre-makeup routine and it seemed to get more oily than normal. I don't moisturize when I wear makeup. What can I do so that I'm not oily? I hate getting shiny. Yes, there is hope for you, Emily. So I would still do the pre-makeup routine, the setting spray and the glorious face primer. I would highly recommend that you're using the same products as me because I've totally done this routine with other brands and it didn't work for me. So definitely make sure that you're picking this guy up. The setting spray by Unique is legit. It's so good. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do, Emily, is you're gonna want to pick up the Touch Bolts translucent setting powder and use it the same way I am. So I'm mean, just using a fan brush because see how like soft that is on my skin? I'm just gonna sweep away all of this residue. So all that's left is a very like fine, nice layer of translucent setting powder to draw out that oil. So you can already see how much more full coverage my makeup looks. And I don't look shiny or greasy. What shade did you use? I used the shade Taffeta in the la la la, in the setting spray. Taffeta, and then I did the shade Velour in the concealer. Would you bake for hot flashes? Yeah, you can absolutely. Usually, hot flashes occur like mostly forehead, if I'm right, right? I'm, I mean, I obviously I've never had one, but I remember my mom used to get them, and she would definitely get sweaty. <laughs> so I would absolutely use the setting powder in that area, like forehead. And if you get, it's like T-zone, right? So I would just bake in just that area to prevent it because it'll still work the same way with humidity, with sweat, with all of that, all, all that. All right, so many compliments when I use BB cream. Oh, I love that, when I use a stick. Hope I get many, oh, you will, I know it. I used the shade Taffeta in the spray. My son Max is waiting with me. Hi, Max. Yes, the forehead. So yes, definitely make sure you use the setting powder in that area. So now that we've done that, as you see, you can still see some like white, you could see some unevenness. What you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna take your Mineral Touch pressed powder. We're gonna use the shade Satin, and this is gonna give us an all around matte even coverage. This is also going to bump up the coverage, making it a little more full. And it's also gonna give us this really gorgeous, almost airbrushed finish. The, our pressed powder, I hear it all the time. I can't use powders because I'm old. I can't use pressed powders because I'm dry. I'm telling you, that may be true with other brands, but you can use this pressed powder. It is so lightweight. It is so good. It's amazing coverage. It can even be used by itself for like more of a lighter coverage. And this also comes in the kudos, you guys. Everything I've used besides the setting powder can be bought in the kudos. And that's so good. So you can buy as many kudos as you want. You want two, and you can sub out the items because like I said, you pick the foundation choice, you pick the primer, so that it's totally customizable. Oh, that's nice. Does the baking help with sweating? Yes, absolutely. All right, so I try to only do one side of my face so you can really see that difference on the pressed powder, but see how this side of my face looks much more flawless and put together than this side. You can see some kind of unevenness, a little bit of the dark circle. You can see my skin basically, versus this side looks very flush, very even, very soft, very airbrushed. Click the little heart emoji if you see that difference. Isn't that amazing? Pressed powder, I'm telling you guys, mineral touch pressed powder. And again, if you're not sure what shade you are, just shoot me a message. 
Now, if you have dry skin, normal skin, you don't need to bake, you could skip the setting powder and go straight in with this step. I would highly recommend to use a big kabuki brush with it this way. It's gonna apply it not heavy, not uneven, and it'll make you use less of the product, which makes the product last longer. And everybody said hallelujah. So, so good. And I got this kabuki brush, just message me and I can give you the link to it. All right, so now that we have our face fully set and even, now we can contour a little bit just to give our face some structure. I know sometimes when you're just kind of throwing your on your makeup really fast, you might not think contouring is really important or really does much, but I'm here to show you how much it does do, especially when you're not really doing much to your face. I, I know I missed going live. Yes, so I mix together certain colors to equal out to my skin tone. That's just the way it works for me. You might be different, you might be all one color, but message me a selfie facing a window and I can tell you what color combo you are or you should get the BB Flawless and the pressed powder or whatever the case may be. Just send me a message and I can tell you what combo you are. I think settings powder is a choice in the kudos. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, you're right. The setting powder is a choice in the kudos because you can do setting powder or setting spray. I totally forgot about that. So everything I've just used is all on sale, everything. The primer, the setting spray, the foundation, the concealer, the pressed powder, the setting powder, all on sale. RayaHopeBeauty.com, click kudos, K-U-D-O-S, and I will help you pick out your shades. Just tell me. Can you give the link of the brush? Yes, Janet, you have, whoever wants the link to that brush needs to message me or wait until I get off and I will post it in the comments below. So if you're like a silent watcher, which I know I have a lot of those, just comment something, a uh, hi, a hello, a smiley face, doesn't matter. That way you'll be alerted when I comment back. Facebook will tell you like, oh, Rhea commented back to her live. So you know that's me putting the full product list in the comments as well as the link to the brush. And you do have an option up here. There should be like three little dots. You can click those three dots and you can turn on live notifications. That way when I do a hair tutorial or a makeup tutorial, you don't miss out on it you'll be alerted via Facebook. There's also another choice that I started doing. There's this um, texting service that I use. You'll wanna text 83361 and you'll just say Raya Hope. On your phone, like a text message, the number is 83361 and then you'll write in the, like you're texting Raya Hope, all one word and that will uh, sign you up for, to get alerted. And I just say, hey, I'm going live. So it makes it easy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Amy, you are as gorgeous. I see your profile picture, girl. You are gorgeous. All right, so now for this step. So now we're gonna contour, because like I said, as much as you think contouring is not really important, especially when you're just throwing on your face, I'm gonna show you how important it is. We're gonna use the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa, and then we're gonna use this brush right here, which is called the Tapered Blusher Brush, both of which are on my website. So you're gonna just tap it in your product, and then you're gonna swirl it into the cap, Tap off some of that product and then go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth with this brush and you're gonna start horizontally like this and then change your uh, brush to vertical and you're just gonna go over it just like that. So horizontal, vertical, just like so. And then now, and then now we're gonna contour the forehead, which is so easy, doesn't need to be scary. You're gonna take that same step, tap it in, swirl it in the cap, and then you're just gonna stick to the temples of the forehead and just kind of go around the hairline, just like this. Avoid the center of your face, just going around. Stop where your eyebrows are. And then contour your chin. So if you are a little bit older and you're experiencing some droopage with your face, this is another option that you can do. Go around, just like this, around your jawline. And it's gonna make the appearance of it being much more sharper and higher up. So it kind of plays around with lighting. So wherever you put a contour is gonna recede. Wherever you put something that's highlighting or nothing at all is gonna pop forward. So we're gonna play around with that lighting a little bit. So around the jaw and then your nose, you can change the total shape of your nose, it's crazy. You can squeeze that brush and run it down the sides of your nose to make your nose look thinner. Or you can run it down the bottom of it to make it look shorter, just like that. Then you can even contour your lip around your lip to make it look larger as well. So totally pr bleh, 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 play around with it. So I only did one side because I want to show you that difference. So contour versus no contour. 
Do you guys see that difference? Click the little heart emoji if you see the difference. This side looks totally like shaped and structured. My cheekbone is already like popping out. My cheek looks much more plump. My under eye looks tighter, brighter, more youthful. This side of my face looks so much thinner than this side. Do you guys see that? Isn't that amazing? And it doesn't look heavy, doesn't look dirty, doesn't look like anything. Just looks like there's a shadow there, which there should be a shadow because our face naturally does have shadows from the way it's shaped. So we're gonna catch this side up. So that's why it's so important to contour. So without it, you're really gonna kind of look washed out. You'll look a little rounder than you probably think you should. So contouring, just throw it on a little bit. You don't even need to do it as bold as I am. Just simply dusting it on in these same areas is really, really gonna make that difference. So just in there. And then now we're ready for blush. So for blush, I'm gonna use the shade Supple today. It's one of my favorite colors because it just gives you this really natural peachy glow almost like just a natural flush. It's not like a pink, it's not It's not anything. It's amazing, it's so good. So I took it on my blusher brush by Unique. This one's like an, more of an angled. And I tapped it in my blush and then you always swirl into the mirror. That's gonna separate the pigment so when you go on, put it on your face, you don't just get like a blob of blush. So you're gonna smile and then you're just gonna tap, 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 tap onto the apple of the cheek, sticking closer to the bronzer and then work up to the hairline. So just like that. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? I love that it's not too pink or red or peach. It's just like a really good everyday blush color. And it gives you that flush of life so you don't look washed out. And it also has a very slight sheen to it. It's not a glitter, it's not a sparkle. There's no fallout of glitter all over me. It just gives the appearance of a sheen. So it gives you appearance of that really pretty highlight. See how it like glimmers almost? Not pretty, first that side. So plain Jane, and then hello cheekbones. So same thing over here. So even if you weren't like a huge blush girl, this blush would be the blush for you. So again, this is the shade Supple. And again, if you're not sure what color it is, I always, I always swirl, oh good. Yeah, swirling definitely makes a difference. But as I was saying, if you're not sure what color to get, just message me. Let me know you need to be color matched and if you aren't Facebook savvy and you're like, I don't know how to message you, you can always do so on my website. So if you go to my website, rayahopebeauty.com and scroll to the very bottom of my website, you'll see an option to be able to send me an email. Um, you can always do that way too. Cheekbones are so high, they drive me crazy. I've gained a lot of weight, but now I got so big. My dad went to the gate, first my face and I. So you can kind of play around with the shape of your face as well. So you don't necessarily have to do the exact apple of your cheek. If your cheeks are higher up or your cheekbones are higher up than you say you like. Um, so for example, for highlighting, normally I, you're supposed to do like the, um, like the cheekbone. My cheekbone is basically in my eye. So what I do is I kind of go over my blush and go down and around. So you can kind of play around with it according to your face shape. And if you guys have any trouble with any product or you get it in the mail and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. I remember that girl from Facebook, but I don't remember what to do this. Save my video to your page. Save it right now. Click that share button. Click it to share on your page so at least you have it. So when you do get your products in the mail, you know who to message. I am here to help you. I'm not here to just sell you and see you later, sayonara. I am here to help you guys look and feel your absolute best. There's nothing that I love more than getting your guys' emails saying, oh, I got so many compliments or I feel so pretty. Like, I love that. I love hearing that you guys your guys' confidence is being boosted because that's what this makeup did for me. Like I felt so frumpy <laughs> and I felt so blah. And it wasn't until I started playing off my makeup that I started to feel really beautiful. And even now without makeup, that's how I feel. So it kind of transitioned that confidence into just an everyday. So that can be what it does for you. Give it a try, give it a shot. We do have a love it guarantee as well. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you can always return it for your money back. And I'll even help you with the return. So. Um, what I was getting at was just message me if you're having trouble with application or you can't remember what it, how to use it, message me. I'm here to help you guys. Just got here, what color was that? So that was the shade Supple. I did not use a highlighter today. I'm kind of just going for like a very everyday makeup look. Um, but I love that the Supple shade almost acts as a highlight. Hi Wanda, hi Heather, thank you Renee. Um, when do you use rose water? So rose water, I usually use it at night before bed and in, the, and in the morning when I wash my face. But if you have really dry skin, you can also spritz your makeup with it to add hydration to your skin. Oh, thanks Sharon, I try. 
what color to use on your eyebrows. I haven't done my eyebrows yet. This is my natural. Um, but I do use the Esteem Lash Serum on my eyebrows and my eyelashes every night before bed. And I swear that makes them grow. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, look, look that. Isn't that crazy? So Esteem Lash Serum. You can find it underneath lashes on my website. It's only $24. Like, that's insane for lash serum. Usually lash serum, lash serums on the market right now are like a hundred and something dollars like 130 80 it's crazy so 24 bucks um and then i just use it on my brows and then i use it on my eyelashes getting my confidence back i love that rhonda yes the rose water so so good thank you melody all right so now for brows so like i said i use the esteem lash serum on them every single night so that's how they gotten so like bold but now i'm going to go in with the brow pencil this is in the shade medium. I always do my brows. I really think that it completes the makeup look and you'll see it also helps to make your eyes look larger. So what I do is I just follow the natural shape and direction of my brows. And then in the sparse area, I go from the tear duct all the way up. And that's kind of where I know to like cap off my eyebrows, like where to stop them. And then same thing under here. So just connecting all of it and then I'll color in. So we all know how to outline. We all know how to color in the lines. It's exactly what we're doing. And I swear, this brow pencil makes it so stinking fast and easy. I absolutely love it. So, difference. See how different? This one looks much more cleaner put together. A little bit messy. And then look at how much room I have. So this side of my face, I'm making the same exact expression. And this side of my face looks like I have much more room for eyeshadow. It makes my eyes look welcoming, makes you like draw the attention to the eye first that side. Isn't that amazing? So it really opens up your eyes. So if you have um, smaller or hooder, hooder, <laughs> hooder eyes, if you have hooded eyes, or you wear glasses, or you're just overall, you just want your eyes to appear larger, filling in your eyebrows would definitely assist with that. If you're not sure what brow pencil to grab, just message me and I can tell you. But I love it that they have a retractable tip, that it's super dainty, so it's really easy to use. It's the perfect learning tool. So even if you're scared at doing your brows, this brow pencil makes it easy to learn. All right, so we're just catching this one up to speed, and then we'll move on. Rose water is great for sunburn. Yes, it is amazing for sunburn. It takes away that sting. I saw that you were in Nashville over the weekend. My husband and I live in Nashville. We're in San Diego last Friday. Oh my gosh, how funny. We switched. Um, what is the best makeup routine for acne prone skin? Also scarring. Morgan, message me and I can give you a good skincare regimen. Yes, the blush is the color supple that I'm wearing. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so now for lashes, we're gonna skip eyeshadow today because like I said, we're just throwing on our makeup for the sake of it. And sometimes I just skip eyeshadow. So right now we're gonna go in with the lash primer. If you guys haven't snagged this yet, definitely grab it today. It is such a game changer with your lashes. So not only does it make them larger and increases the volume on it, it also helps them grow because this has a property in it that hydrates your lashes, which slows down the lash cycle on your eyelashes, which helps to make them longer and fuller. And then what it also does is it helps to curl them. So if you have really straight lashes, this would be incredible for you. I absolutely love it. And then you'll just put it on right underneath your mascara. Yes, practice makes better always. Yes, the pencil is so good. If you haven't grabbed it yet, it's so amazing. Love the primer. I know it's been so good. I love watching your videos. Aw, thanks, Lindsay, and welcome. Do you ever use bronzer as? I look absolutely Karen all the time. I love it. So just so it's a light out here. I know. I've, I'm in time travel. All right, so now we're gonna do the 4D mascara. And this mascara, you're gonna see. Just you wait. It's so good. It is so good. It gives you the best length and volume. It's amazing at not like turning out clumpy or like spider leggy. It's so good. It gives you volume and length. What I love about it too is it does have fibers in it, but the fibers are infused into the gel. So there's zero fallout with them and it has dual bristles. So you get the most longish, longish, luscious, luscious. 
say that three times fast. It gives you the most gorgeous lashes ever. Let's just leave it at that. So good. And you could do as many coats of this as you'd like, but isn't that amazing? They're literally touching my eyebrows, like literally. I have trouble with the lash primer after I use it in my mascara once the clump. So I would make sure that you are using your lash brow comb. A lot of the times we think it's the mascara, but really it's just our eyelashes. So I would take the metal side like you saw me do before, and you'll just comb through your eyelashes. It gets them moving all in the same direction so they're not crisscross applesauce before you go in with your mascara making them clumpy because your lashes are already crisscrossed. So make sure you're brushing through your lashes. And this is underneath the eye section, or I'm sorry, underneath the tool section on my website. It's called the Lash Brow Comb. All right, so now this side. And as you see, I kind of like blink onto the wand. So I blink like that. So go at the base. So I kind of make my eye do the work instead of my hand. And then I'll just kind of move them around. And then the backs a little bit. Just like that. That's so good. Guys, this mascara. If you are wanting to try something, just something, grab the mascara, 4D mascara. Um, I use false lashes because I have little lashes. Will the lash primer help them grow? Yes, Tina, and you should also get the Esteem Lash Serums underneath lashes on my website. It helps your lashes grow. No, I don't have lash extensions. This, this is all me, isn't that crazy? Esteem Lash Serum, you guys, and the lash primer. There's also this bundle if you wanna get it on sale. It's underneath uh, lashes and it's called the 4D Lash Trio. You get the 4D mascara, you get the lash primer, and you get the Esteem Lash Serum. So get all three things on sale. You're welcome. I can't wait. Oh yeah, it's really hot here. It was like 86 today and I think it's supposed to be in the 90s by Monday. So if you're looking for warmth, San Diego you should come to. <laughs> it helps me when I love Oh, good idea, Katie. You can totally try that. How do you make your video so clear? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm on an iPhone, maybe that's why. Hello from Jamestown. Let me start watching you about two months ago. Awesome, Yvonne, welcome. I hope that you've messaged me to be color matched. Getting the lash bundle, it's so good. Brittany, you're gonna be obsessed. Again, it's under lashes, 4D Lash Trio. 4D Lash Trio, I love my 4D. Does yours ever leave black right underneath your brow? No, and ha if you, that happens to you, Cindy, here's my little trick. You're gonna take, uh, you're gonna take, where is it? You're gonna take a brush like this, the blending brush, which is underneath your, um, underneath tools on my website. And then you're gonna take your setting powder. Here's a tip. If this happens to you, if your mascara is leaving marks on your face and you're following my routine, you're like, still happening. That's so what you can do. You can take that and I'm not gonna tip it right in there. I'll tip it in the cap. So you're just gonna grab a tiny bit. I mean, you can start off with a tiny bit and see how much you need of your setting powder. And wherever that is happening to you, whether it's happening underneath or on top, you're gonna to take that and you're just, after you're done with your mascara, you're gonna dust it in that area. So if your lashes do touch that area, instead of sticking to your foundation, it's simply gonna be like repelled, like mm -mm, girlfriend, <laughs> to your setting powder. So if that is happening to you, definitely give that a try. See if that helps. So setting powder and the uh, blending brush. Um, got to enjoy Nashville. Oh, thank you. It's cold here. Oh my goodness, it's freezing. All right, so now for lips. We're gonna stick with the simple, just throw it on, look, make it look good. We're gonna take the Hottie Lip Plumper. So who out there wishes that they could get their lips filled? <laughs> I feel you, I have like the smallest lips like known to mankind normally. I do get mine filled once a year, twice a year. But this is what I used to do, and it would give me a very similar look in the end, except it wasn't permanent, so it was temporary. So this is the Hottie Lip Plumper, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna exfoliate your lips. I have really dry lips right now, so I'm not gonna exfoliate, but normally exfoliating your lips beforehand would just increase the effect. So if you're really wanting plump lips, use the unique lip exfoliator. I have it in my case. It's like the sugar scrub. It's incredible. Um, it's under lip care on our website. Grab the Hottie Lip Plumper that's gonna be under lip gloss on the website. You're gonna take that and you're just gonna apply it all over. And you wanna kinda of go above your lip line. 
So my lip line obviously ends right here. I'm gonna take it a little bit above that. Yes. It's like temporary Botox. It's so good. So it does give you this really pretty sheen or shine. So you can use this on top of your lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever. You could put it on whenever you want, multiple times a day. I would say it probably lasts, like the effect of the plump lip, plumpness lasts probably like four hours. So another tip too that you could do is put this on before you do your makeup and then when you are ready to do your lips, wipe it off and then line your lips and then top it with this at the end. So that way your lips are plump when you're doing your makeup and after you're doing your makeup. And it just gives you this really pretty glossy look. Just my only like forewarning is don't kiss your kids with this on. It does have peppermint in, in it. It won't like hurt them or like burn them. It just doesn't feel that great, especially if they're like mine, they're like really sensitive. They're gonna be like, mom, what'd you do? So just wipe it off before you like kiss your little ones. It'd be fine if you kissed your husband. You'd be like, mm, it's like a rattlesnake. Yeah, so it feels like a tingle. It actually feels like a menthol. It doesn't burn, doesn't hurt. It feels like, like a menthol-y, like, I don't know, toothpaste or something. <laughs> Coil of plumpers. I know, me too, Linda, all the time. I actually wanted to use the one called Chandel. It's like this really pretty color, but we don't have it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Super cool. So yeah, that was a little makeup routine. So last step, so important, is taking your Touch Bold setting spray and spraying your makeup down with that before you finish because that's gonna take away that like makeupy look. It's gonna take away the powdery look. It's just gonna give you this really flawless, flawless, flawless finish. I was thinking about lip gloss. It's like, what other lip gloss shades do I like? <laughs> Such an airhead. Um, but yes, so it takes away that like powdery look. It just makes you look incredible all day and helps to hold your makeup in place all day. So recap here make sure you message me is like the moral of the story make sure you message me and you get color matched if you have not yet if you don't need to be color matched you know what colors you want grab them right here rayahopebeauty.com definitely check out the kudos it's only around for this month and i've heard that some colors are already going on back order if you see that back order it just means it's a yellow light that just means that it's low in stock in our warehouse still grab it grab two <laughs> If you can. So um, definitely snag the spray. It's so incredible. It's like flawless. And look how just light it looks on my skin. I love it. Um, if you need to come match, message me. Um, if you learned something today or you feel like you got something of value from me, go ahead and click that share button. I really, really appreciate it. Refer me to your friends. Uh, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. My name is Rhea Hope over there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I really missed you. Um, so it felt good to be back. So if you have large pores, Angela, the spray is incredible. And I highly recommend applying your foundations and concealers with the blending buds by Unique. They minimize the appearance of pores and they just like make you look so flawless. So colors, I'm wearing the shade Taffeta in my spray and I'm wearing Velour in my concealer. And then I use the pressed powder in the shade Satin. Uh, the blush is Supple and the bronzer is Hermosa. The brow pencil I used was Medium, Hottie Lip, uh, lip Plumper and 40 and lash primer on my eyelashes. I walked by you several times in Nashville. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, shame on you. You should have said hi, but hi, now we can say hi. Uh, love the spray, it's so good. It's so amazing, I love it. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. It feels so good to be home. Um, I will definitely be going live tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that one. Um, I can't decide if I wanna use a spray foundation again or if I should use a stick foundation. What would you guys rather see tomorrow? If you have not yet, make sure that you sign up for my uh, live notifications. So click those three dots up here, turn on live notifications, and then also make sure that you sign up for my little texting subscribe thingamabobber. Super easy, on your phone, you're going to text the phone number 83361, and you're gonna say Raya Hope. So 83361, and you'll say Raya Hope to that phone number, and that way you'll be um, like in. You'll be in the group, you'll be in the click. Thank you. The stick, the stick. Yes, the blending bud's damp, Renee. Stick, all right. The, the crowd has spoken. So I'll be going live tomorrow using the stick foundation. Maybe I'll use three of them to show you how all the different options are available for them. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Um, probably like late afternoon-ish if you're on Pacific Standard Time. Um, and I'll see you guys over on Instagram next to show you my super cool mom uniform outfit. So I'll see you guys soon. Love ya. Bye.